Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to our channel. Today I've got a Spotlight Stationery unboxing. This is the January 2021 box. So if you'd like to see what's inside, please keep on watching. So as you probably know, this is my favorite stationery box to open each month. Um, it has good quality, high-end artisan products inside, but it does have a higher price tag than some of the other boxes that I open. So as I said, this is the January box, and in my last couple of videos that I've um, put up on YouTube, um, I've obviously set notice that a couple of the postcards have been repeats. And Mary, who runs um, Spotlight Stationery, actually contacted me after watching the videos to try and explain why that was. So if anyone else has received um, duplicates, uh, she gave an exp explanation. Um, she usually visits illustration degree course summer shows and meets new graduates so that she can ask them if they'd like to collaborate and um, showcase some of their art in her boxes on the postcards. Uh, but obviously with what's happened over the last year, those shows haven't taken place and some illustrators have provided her with some extra artwork to use, but obviously some haven't. So uh, some of the uh, cards have had to be duplicated. So that's just the explanation. So thank you to Mary for thoroughly explaining that to me and I totally understand. Um, any duplicates I can obviously just pass on to someone else if they'd like to display them or, or send them to someone. So that's not, not a problem at all. So that's great, thank you. So um, I'm gonna open this up now. So let's see what's inside. Get this open. I always struggle with these boxes. Right. Okay. So we've got the usual tissue paper and sticker situation. Okay, let's see what the theme is. Okay, new year, new plans. Oh, there's the doorbell. Just pardon me a moment, please. Right, so that's that dealt with. Um, so the month's theme is new year, new plans. Whatever your plans are for 2021, you can use this collection to keep you on track. Now, I'm not gonna look at what they, the items are, but I can see at the bottom it says here, the purchase price of this stationery box includes a donation to Trevi House, an award-winning women's charity which provides nurturing spaces for women and their families to heal, grow, and thrive. And the website is www.trevi.org.uk. So that's really a really good cause. So let's have a look at the postcards. I definitely haven't had this one before. But again, foxes, I love foxes. Lovely. Jumping in the snow. I haven't had this one. Well, I'll just show you, actually, I'll show you that one quickly. There you go. What's that one? And then this one. The girl with her house plants. Oh, I haven't had this one either. Looks like some herons or storks or something. And I haven't had this one, which looks like, I don't know, snow foxes or dogs. Not too sure, can you see that one? And then these are the artists. Hope you can see, I'm gonna line it up a bit for you. There we go, I'll put all their details in the links below in case you want to follow any of those artists. So that's great, that's four cards that I've not had before, so that's lovely, thank you, Mary. All right, now, exciting, I can see we've got a Jot book by Lush, I think it's pronounced Lush term, 1917, and it's a dotted one, so it's like a bit like a bullet journal, in this beautiful sort of JD green, A5. Oh, oh, it's two. Oh my god, my favourite colours. So we've got a green and a and a JD a JD green and a, a teal colour. Brilliant. Let's have a little look inside. Try not to, to 
damage them. Oh, I think the paper is actually um, those beautiful colours as well. Oh, come on, I can't get these open quick enough. So this is the green one. So we've got the contents at the beginning as usual. And oh, it's just the edges that are coloured. So the actual pages are the lovely cream colour that they normally do. And they are numbered. See, these are little mini bullet journals. Um, it's got like a little um, fold in the back for putting things in. Like that. Um, and these are stickers for labeling the books and it's got 60 pages by the look of it and they've got the nice bendy covers so these are useful for I wouldn't actually bullet journal in these as such because they won't last so well so we've got the green JD green and we've got deep teal color so those are beautiful I love those colors they're just my colors brilliant yay <laughs> Right, so we've also got a Calipino Agenda Perpetual. So, oh, Perpetual Calendar, basically in English. Um, so it's a craft cover. Um, it's an A6 book, I believe. Um, what have we got in the beginning here? A couple of plain pages. We've got what looks like sort of an index contents list and then we've got a week per, pay, per page week to view and you can obviously put your own dates in there um, oh we've got some dotted paper in the back lined paper and some grid paper and at the back in the cover, there's like a ruler as well. So that's useful. Right, I can see a pen here. So we've got a Pentel Energel liquid gel ink pen. I think we've had one of these before. I think I had that lovely teal color and it was a really, really good pen. So let's have a look to take a little bit of wax off the tip. I can. Um. Shall I write on? I'll write on this. Oh yes, these are really, really, really good writing pens. The ink flows so smoothly, it's so smooth. So yeah, I definitely recommend these pens, Energel by Pentel. That's a 0.7 millimeter ball pen. Really nice. And then I can see we've got Another Pentel pen, uh, Energel ink inside. It's a, it's, it's, I can't I see it's slightly worn off. Todio, 0.7. So let's again take the wax off there. Let's see what this one writes like. That one feels slightly less flowy, and it actually, even though it's still 0.7, it feels like a finer nib, just slightly finer. But it does write well. Not quite as fluid as the other one. And that one obviously is black. So, but that's absolutely fine. Good pen. And then I can see we've got a mild ink midliner by Zebra. Um, I believe we had one of these before. I had a lilac colour. So it's got a yeah, it's got a, a wedged end there and a pointed tip there. And that's in a sort of, I wouldn't say lime green, this makes me think it's lime green, but it comes out more of an, an apple green, a grass green color. So that's that one, double-ended felt tip. And then I can see, oh, looks like we've got more sticky notes, sticky labels, mini moderns. And these look like, well, houses and things. I guess you could build build your houses <laughs> so what have we got oh these are different colors 
Is there any information there? Let's see what it says in the uh, on the blurb. First appearance in our boxes for this brand. We know you'll find this board of sticky labels in three shapes and nine colours really useful. Oh, the pen, the Pentel pen, the black one was this Tradio. I couldn't quite see. Oh, it was an R. It's worn off slightly. Um, yep, there's nothing there that I wasn't expecting. So that's any information I wasn't expecting. So that's everything in the box. So we've received the sticky labels, three pens. Oh, my stomach's rumbling there. Um, a little A5 uh, diary. The two Lush, Lush term, Lush term, I don't know how you say it. Um, bullet journals and the postcards. So these are all the items I've received in my January 2021 box. I'm very pleased, um, particularly with these two journals here, these two notebook journals and this pen. I love these Energel pens, these are really good. Um, the postcards, like I said, no duplicates this month, which is great. Um, so I can change out my postcards in my picture frame and have something new up on the wall. Um, the sticky notes are great to have. I probably use them as markers more than actual for putting notes on because some of these are actually quite small. I don't know if I'd be able to write on them. Um, the extra pens and this notepad, of course, are useful too. So yes, very pleased with this month. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, let me know if you've grabbed this box, what you thought of it. Um, if you uh, liked our video, please like it. And please do consider subscribing to our channel. That way you can uh, be notified when we post more videos and it will really help us out. So with all that said, thank you very much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you. Bye. Bye.